Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with SBR contributor Dave Golikov. And today we're going to be talking about that NBA game between the San Antonio Spurs and the Philadelphia 76ers. How are you doing today, Dave? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. All righty, man. Things haven't, you know, been doing so well for the Sixers. 0-16 right now. But, I mean, what factors are contributing, uh, contributing to their poor level of gameplay, Dave? Uh, pretty much uh, all of the above. All of the above being uh, coaching, uh, scoring points, defense, um, you know, talent. Uh, what, what else am I missing? I think those are the main ingredients uh, on an NBA team. This team's just brutal right now. Um, you know, they're supposed to be sort of this young team, this young core that's getting better. I mean, this team is not. This team is squarely in the pole position for the first pick overall in the next draft. And we're about like nine months away from the next draft. So the Sixers are, uh, you know, a flaming piece of garbage right now as a team. And it's pretty much only going to get worse for them as the season goes. Do you think they're going to go 0-82 this year, man? Well, that would be awesome. I don't think they're going to go 0-82. It's the NBA. I mean, they're bound to win probably like 10 games at least. I actually thought they'd be slightly better than they were last year. I mean, would they win 16, 17 games last year? But it just has not worked for them right now. Uh, it's a young team that's, you know, it's just such an anonymous roster. I want to say young team, young core, going to get better. But I don't even see some of the pieces of the puzzle that are supposed to be there. I mean, they do have Michael Carter-Williams, Nor Nerlens Noel. Uh, but those guys have both been out, in and out of the lineup. And the rest of the team just doesn't look that great either. So you got guys like, uh, I don't know, the starting five that's picked up off of Craigslist. And uh, <laughs> these guys are just, they're, they're not getting the job done these days. All right. Now, um, we know how good San Antonio is. And they're coming into this game with a 9-1 straight up record over their last 10 games. And despite the fact that Popovich usually tends to uh, rest their, some of their starters, um, do you believe that the Spurs' D is a little too much for the Sixers to overcome? And if so, why, why do you think so, man? Uh, well, I mean, basically me, you, and uh, three other female hosts from SBR would be uh, too much defense for the Sixers to overcome. Uh, the Spurs are one of the best teams in the NBA overall, and they're obviously known as being a strong defensive team. I mean, it's just a mismatch. This is like... Uh, you know, two white guys going to Rock Rucker Park and getting hustled by, uh, you know, two regulars. So this is just a mismatch. It's really just a matter of, um, you know, whether the, the Spurs are going to rest anybody, uh, whether they're half asleep in this game. And I think the answer is no to both of those situations. I mean, Popovich usually has this team very focused. And then in terms of rest, you know, again, this is speculation. You're going to want to keep an eye on the waiver wire to make sure nobody does get rested. But... Um, you know, Popovich usually gives the big F U to the NBA on and rest his guys on like nationally televised games when it's like a monumental showdown. Doesn't usually rest his guys as much in situations like this, but again, you want to keep an eye on the waiver wire. And then lastly, I would say it might not even matter. I mean, the the the, the Sixers lost at home in their latest game to the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavs rested Dirk Nowitzki and still won by like seven or ten whatever it was so even if the Spurs rest their guys their backups are really talented and uh and you know they could still cover this big number right now now that we're looking at the number I mean 14 points Dave uh even though they're on the road you know and they're probably not going to start their main lineup should we actually take those or lay the points man well, I think if they're not going to start their main guys, you're going to see the line drop a little bit. Uh, so, But uh, either way, I think you lay the points with the Spurs. This is just a really big mismatch. Um, it's just hard to trust the Sixers in any spot right now against any quality team. Home, home court advantage doesn't even mean much to them. This is a team that's 0-16, hasn't even won at home yet, which is quite surprising. I mean, a lot of teams struggle on the road in the NBA, but not even to win at home is a concern. Seeing them lose by... Uh, seven to Dallas on Saturday without Nowitzki gives me no confidence to take them here in this spot. I'll lay the points with the Spurs. All right, good stuff, man. Thanks once again, Dave, and we'll talk some more basketball again tomorrow, man. All right. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. 
To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.